Oh my gosh, I just had to run home and dump all my files. Just dump them all. My gosh. I'm back in the mini. You can see there's no headliner. Just left work. I live around the corner from the shop, which is <laughs> convenient. And uh, so it's like 5.03. There we go. And uh, wear your seatbelt, kids. Mean Mini. <laughs> Oh, and of course, so the shop is right here. Look at this. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, I can turn around. So I'm gonna turn around. And there's the shop right there, the entrance, and I'm in a line of traffic and cannot get to the entrance of the shop. Yay! Anyway, so uh, it's about five o'clock on a Friday. I think it's the 29th, 28th or 29th, whatever. Whatever day that is. Um, I'm gonna redo. I already pulled the headliner out. You saw that video. Um, now I'm gonna cover the headliner board and final dye all my plastics and get them back in. Hopefully, I can do that within the hour. I might actually just cover the headliner board and do the plastics and then leave it out, let everything dry. I'm here. Thankfully, Rudy's here to help me, so shop is still open and Rudy's helping. All right, let's get this damn thing done. I'm gonna set the shop up, I'm gonna shot, uh, set the table up, I'm gonna put the board on a table and start to get it uh, glued and put on. So uh, check out this time lapse. Whew. Phew, holy cow. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse because uh, in reality, that was probably about 35, 45 minutes, I think. I'm really, really sweaty right now. Um, but as you can see in the time lapse, so I'm talking to two kind of groups right here because I'm, I'm working on my mini, so this is going in a mini group. Uh, this is also going on YouTube and this is also going in some upholstery groups. Um, the upholstery guys, you can see that I wrapped all the edges of the entire board. I didn't need to. I did not need to by any means. But I chose to for the longevity of the board, the life of the, the headliner, that is, the material. Um, and the reason being, because it looks a little cleaner. I, I hate that manufacturers just cut it off right at the edge and you have, you have the sh crap fall. Ah, it's, it's quite irritating actually. 
But check this out. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Boom! Boom, baby! Damn! Damn, baby, you fine as hell! Woo, girl! That's good. That's good, good. I'm telling you, that's that good, good right there, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so board's covered. On to the panels. Here's that time lapse of that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, well, I'm really, really sweaty. This air conditioner really, really isn't doing the job that I wish it would, but everything is sprayed. Now, this is not spray paint, so those of you who are possibly like, why is this guy spray painting his stuff? No, no. Learn things and stuff, people. It's called vinyl dye. It's already dry. I could literally put it in the car right now, but I'm gonna let it fully cure overnight. And then I'm gonna hit it again with a second coat in the morning. That's why I bought two cans. So this one can, one can, completely empty. I just did every single panel in my Clubman. So you can even see I did the, the, the visors. So what I did, just taped off the, the mirror and I pulled off them panels where the lights shine through and uh, then I put them in that box but I'm gonna let this sit overnight and then I'm gonna uh, I'll be back in the morning to finish but it's coming along really nicely matter of fact I'll take one of these right here and kind of show you I matched it to the color of the headliner and then this actually matches the factory uh, color in the car. So that's why I sprayed them because I want that same grain. I don't want to cover it and then it's like looks like crap. So everything looks really good. Um, you can see right there that that's that one side visor on the driver's side. It's coming coming together really nicely. I mean it's gonna be good. Good enough for the girls we go with. Oh I'm in trouble. Alright you guys thank you for watching. This was part two Part three will be, oh, look at that hair. Part three will be putting the headliner board and the panels back in. So that'll be part three. Part four will be me starting to take apart the interior uh, and then starting to pattern out my uh, leather interior. So thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate uh, the support. I've actually had a bunch of views on that last um, video, so that's really cool. I appreciate it. Um, probably my mom, <laughs> uh, but I appreciate it nonetheless, mom. And um, I am definitely gonna be making more. So I hope you all enjoy this. Thanks. Drop a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the bell notifications. I'm new at this. I don't know what to say. I love you. See ya. Or a little side note before I go. Lock the door real quick. Uh, go ahead and give us a like on Lance's Tops and Auto Upholstery. I'd really appreciate it. Obviously, this is my, my little vlog going on. But uh, we do have a Lance's Tops and Auto Upholstery YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook. Please do go over there and take a look at what we got. Some of the same content, a little bit different content sometimes. So hopefully we can get some, some gift card drawings going on there. Once, uh, once we get a following. Thanks.